Hi, so this is part two of me building a modern house, but I have no f***ing idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Today I'm starting with the upstairs, and the upstairs is just a lot of bedrooms, and by a lot of bedrooms I mean there's two bedrooms. And each uh, bedroom will have one bathroom and one walk-in closet because I really felt like building like these fancy bed bedrooms um, today for some reason. Well, the day when I was filming this, but sure, we'll go with that I built this today, even though I really didn't. So now I'm just putting in like the basic stuff you need for like an upstairs, like wallpapers and doors. Well, not just an upstairs, just any part of a house that needs like wallpaper or painted walls and doors <laughs> because it just makes sense and I also put in the stairs to go to the next floor I changed the walls slightly so the uh, so both the rooms would have like about the same amount of space in them and then it was time to start the first bedroom so this bedroom is for a girl and I wanted the vibe to be like cozy and cute and girly but also like an artist kind of vibe I had no idea what to put on uh, this wall because normally I'd put a desk but I already put a desk there so it would be kind of weird for one person to have two desks although I have two desks but one is for my computer and the other one is for my like drawings <laughs> But yeah, I ended up, up on that wall, I ended up putting a vanity. I had no idea what to put in this part of the room. Yes, again. <laughs> so I just ended up putting a uh, my favorite lamp and my favorite chair over there, which I absolutely loved because they're my favorite favorites. So <laughs> who would have expected that? And I also think I put in a hedgehog. I don't remember if it was a hedgehog or it was like a mouse or something. I don't remember. So the bathroom ended up being really f***ing hard for me to decorate because I wanted this person to be like girly, cute, and cozy. I don't know how to make a girly, cute, or cozy bathroom. So that was a problem. And what I ended up doing was I just made a bathroom like I normally would but I added counters that somehow helped I don't know how the f*** it did that but it did so now it's time to decorate my first walk-in closet of this house which ended up being more uh, underwhelming than I thought it would be because apparently walk-in closets are just like a bunch of shelves and that's it which is honestly really f***ing boring to decorate so yeah that was quite upsetting but it ended up turning out okay it it definitely isn't the best room of the house or the most interesting room of the house but it's fine I felt like the room was seriously lacking personality so I put custom content in the room however I didn't like that because I don't like the contrast between um, the Sims uh, items and custom content, but yeah, I added a lot of CC, and so I ended up not liking it, and then I removed like a lot of it. <laughs> I know I'm very smart and good at this, and I also added this guitar, which is the Freezer Bunny, and I remember really f***ing loving this guitar when I was playing it in 2014 for the first time because it was a bunny and it was pink so obviously it was great I don't like pink anymore I used to really love pink okay now I don't I don't like pink pink can go suck a d**k <laughs> <laughs> what the f*** was that? <laughs> so anyways I started on the second room which was really refreshing for me because I don't like girly stuff. I don't know if you've noticed that yet, but yeah, I don't like girly stuff. So I really like this room. Although, come to think of it, 
I do like one very stereotypical girly thing, which is painting my nails. But I think that's the only thing. I hope. Otherwise, I can't remember it, so it's fine. <laughs> but yeah, I just really like this this room. I think it looks very nice. <laughs> okay, so now I'm starting with the bathroom. I have literally nothing to say about this bathroom other than I f***ing love this bathroom. It doesn't have anything special, but for some reason I really like this bathroom. <laughs> for absolutely no reason. I also tried to put like stuff on this shelf but it didn't work out so I got very annoyed and I ended up not doing it and just getting mad <laughs> over some stupid shelf that doesn't even matter. <laughs> and I started decorating the second walk-in closet of this house and this walk-in closet I like way better than the other one. I don't know what made me like this one better than the other one but I did for no reason apparently and i went ahead and put the final details in the second bedroom and i started on the upstairs although we've already done the upstairs so I'm starting on the second floor. Yeah. <laughs> so this room is gonna be for two people, and one is gonna be a YouTuber, and the other one is gonna be a writer. And um, like the vibe I went for this room was like very modern. I wanted to make it seem like they bought the house, and the other one, the other people are just their roommates kind of thing. I don't really know where I was going with building this house, but sure, it's fine. But yeah, I actually like really, really, really like this room. I don't know why. It might be one of my favorite rooms I've built besides the kitchen. And the next bedroom is my favorite bedroom out of uh, all of the four. But this one was definitely close to being my favorite. If uh, for this bedroom to be my favorite, it would have needed a bit more color, and that it so that it wouldn't be only just completely white. Because I feel like those rooms are kind of boring if they're only white, in my opinion. Also, sorry if the video is kind of glitching out, like. Is randomly stopping at certain parts. That's because my editing software is kind of really shitty because it's it's free. So <laughs> yeah, that that's. I mean, it's good. It just has some some flaws, and um, it may sometimes also randomly stop because um, I got distracted and went to do something else. But yeah. Um, editing this video is kind of hard because, like I said, my editing software has some flaws in it, so, for example, um, one is that I can't view the video on my editing software, so then I have to render the video and then have it on my monitor and then watch the video on the monitor and then if I see something I need to cut out, then, um, then I need to do that on my editing software so that's a lot of back and forth and a lot of annoying things so that's why editing this is so hard so that's why some the the editing of my videos is not always the best but it, it's fine but yeah the video on my editing software isn't always freezing so that i can't see it but it's doing that currently which is kind of annoying so i need to work around that but it, it's fine. But yeah, I don't know why I like this room so much. But I really, really, really like it. And no, that is not because I used my favorite chair and my favorite lamp again. <laughs> well, partially. 
I don't know what to talk about here, so I'm just going to talk about something random. So, um, oh, the first, the first thing that comes to mind is that uh, Mr. Beast is allowing pictures to be sent to the moon for ten dollars. So I think I'm going to send a picture of my cats because I feel like that would be that would be pretty epic. Um, I'd say. I mean, when's the next chance you're gonna be able to send a picture of your cat to you, to the moon? Now I want to tell you something about my cat. I have three cats. That's what I'll tell you about my cats. <laughs> but yeah, if I do end up sending a picture of my cats to the moon, I'll also buy a hoodie to go along with it because I really like Mr. Beast's videos and I really support him. I know he's going to do something good with the money, so I might as well. And I'll post proof on my Twitter, so you should definitely go follow my Twitter. <laughs> and I'll also uh, post a picture that I'll send to the moon, so you'll probably see my cats. You won't see my face because I'm not sending my face to the moon like No, I don't want aliens to track me down. Since I don't know what to talk about, I'll talk about something that happened a couple of weekends ago where I live. Um, it's not anything dramatic, it's just, it started snowing and where I live, it, it normally gets cold and you get like a tiny bit of snow but like not enough to make a snowman kind of snow. But this time it snowed actually like a lot, well not a lot, but enough to make a snowman. <laughs> so we made a snowman. It was all great, we went out in the evening to a park. Honestly it was great. I, I love snow, I love the cold more than I love the, the heat. But the most disappointing thing was that I woke up the next morning and almost all the snow was gone. It was the most upsetting thing ever. I was so disappointed. <laughs> like, why, Mother Nature? Like, fuck you. Bring me my snow back. Now. Please. Thanks. Anyways, now that I've told my story, we can actually start talking about the house now. Again. <laughs> so, um, we're moving on to the backyard now, and I added a pool because for some reason I associate modern houses, like large modern houses, with pools. I don't know how I came up with that association, but apparently it's a thing in my mind, and that's the only thing that counts, apparently. Also, I just want to say that I think this is the worst backyard I've ever built. I, I really, really, really despise this backyard. Um, the reason I hate it is, actually, I don't know why I hate it. <laughs> I just really, really, really hate hate it, but it's probably because I didn't put a lot of effort in it because I was uh, rushing it. I was rushing it because I was getting bored and I just wanted to finish this house finally after four hours. So I rushed it and it turned out bad. Somehow I was expecting it to turn out perfect while I rushed it, but. Yeah, it, it, it's fine. Definitely. <laughs> I added these bushes around the path because for one backyard it, it worked and it made it absolutely perfect. So for some reason, I, I thought taking this very shitty a backyard and adding these flowers next to the side would make it an incredible backyard. However, that did not happen and I was very upset but I wasn't going to delete all of those flowers because that was going to take too long. 
But anyways, that was it. Now look at these analytics. This is very tragic. I'm very upset with you. <laughs> okay, bye bye now.